This is a very nostalgic release from Arrow Video for me. If you grew up during the video store era, then I'm sure you're familiar with Empire Pictures slash Empire Entertainment. After being formed by Charles Band in 1983, Empire produced and distributed some of the most colorful horror and fantasy films of the 1980s. Even if you didn't rent their titles, the eye-catching artwork assuredly caught your attention, and titles like Cellar Dweller, Ghoulies, and Reanimator, you didn't forget. So when Arrow Video announced their Enter the Video Store Empire of Screams box set, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. So join me, if you will, on a trip back to the video store. Welcome to Pizzao Home Video. First, let's take a look at the box set itself. I like the artwork and the colors on the card. I think this is called an O card, but I might be mistaken. Anyway, you've got the Arrow Video storefront design here with a number of characters from the movies included in the set present. On the back of the card, we have the list of limited edition contents as well as the five movies included with their individual specs and special features. Beneath the card, we have the back of the video store and there's some interesting goings on transpiring back there. On top of the box, we get the roof of the video store with some graffiti that reads, you're never too old to play with toys. Amen. The top of the box slides off like so, and... <sighs> oh, how I love the smell of fresh physical media. Here we have an 80-page book featuring new writing on the films by Lee Gambin, Dave J, Megan Navarro, and John Harrison, plus select archival material. All of the releases come with newly commissioned artwork and reversible sleeves with original poster art on the reverse. Each one also comes with reversible posters and three postcard sized lobby card reproductions. And I know I've said this before, but this is how you do a box set. Each individual film comes in its own individual case. They all fit snugly inside the box. And this box is sturdy. It's heavy duty. It ain't flimsy. The first film in the set that I want to talk about is from the late, great Stuart Gordon. It is Dolls. And I had forgotten how good this movie was until I revisited it about two months ago. I was taken by how, how much of a feel-good, sweet movie this was, or this is, yet at the same time how dark it is. That juxtaposition of the feel-good sweetness with the darkness really... Uh, I was taken aback, but I'd forgotten how great this movie was. I had a smile on my face pretty much the entire time while revisiting it. I'm looking forward to revisiting it again on this Blu-ray. The next film in this set I want to talk about is from another director who is unfortunately no longer with us. I'm talking about John Carl Beekler, and the film is Cellar Dweller. I remember renting Cellar Dweller at least a couple of times. <laughs> Back in the day from the video store, it was a good old fashioned uh, guy in a rubber monster suit kind of movie. And who, uh, who doesn't love a guy in a rubber monster suit movie? As a kid growing up in the late 80s and early 90s, I certainly did. It's been a long time since I've seen Cellar Dweller, though. But um, I can't say the title Cellar Dweller without it provoking a smile on my face though. But I'm looking forward to revisiting Cellar Dweller in the near future. Next up is an interesting film. 
I reject your reality and I substitute my own. I'm talking about the Dungeon Master. I've actually never seen the Dungeon Master. And what's interesting about it is just the number of directors attached. On the back of the release, it says, with each challenge directed by a different filmmaker, Dungeon Master is a veritable who's who of key Empire Pictures talent, including Charles Band, John Carl Beekler, Ted Nicolau, and many others. It definitely sounds like a hoot, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to checking it out on this Blu-ray. If you've seen Dungeon Master... Let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments. Next, we have another film from the late, great Stuart Gordon, Robot Jocks. This is one I rented back in the day. I don't remember very much about, though. So uh, this is another one I'm looking forward to uh, revisiting for the first time in many, many years. And if you're a fan of Robot Jocks, let me know down in the comments section below. And last but not least, Arena. And this one will be another first time watch for me. Arena completely flew under my radar back in the day, and it's continued to fly under my radar until pretty much now. I'd heard of it, sure, but I'd just never gone out of my way to, uh, to seek it out to watch it. And I see that it was actually produced by Erwin Yablons. Interesting. So if you're a fan of Arena, let me know down below. This is a wonderful, beautiful, nostalgia-inducing release from the fine folks over at Arrow Video. I'm going to have a great time working my way through all the films in this box set, uh, movies like Dolls that I am familiar with, movies like Cellar Dweller that I'm going to get reacquainted with, and movies like Arena that I'm going to watch for the very first time. If you picked up this release from Arrow Video, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, let me know what movie in this box set is your personal favorite. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care. And until next time, peace. A huge thank you to all my patrons and channel members for your generosity and support. Become a patron today and get early access to videos, have a say in what content appears on my channel, join me for monthly live streams, exclusive watch parties, and more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream, as well as members-only watch parties. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.